game and kind of redo it because hey there was no sound so apologize let's try again I see our stuff is right this time so I'm just gonna roll with it okay so what I was saying was what I was saying was that so I'm gonna remove or attempt to rather remove the DRM from a Kindle book which I've paid for uh, so before all you pirates and and judgmental people crawl out of the woodwork telling me what a dirtbag I am for taking the DRM off of stuff um, I own the book and it's okay I bought it I'm just trying to page back to the beginning. So I need to go in here anyway and actually send this book to this device. So I'll, sh I'll just show you really quick. My digital orders here. Here's the book I'm going to be working with up McHenry Creek without a paddle. And so you can see that I did buy that today. Can I send that to myself from here? No, let's go back. It had the the list thingy right here. This is what I'm gonna uh, gonna need to be working with. So I want to send this to this. Can when was the last time you saw one of these? This is like a circa 2010 Kindle keyboard. So this is the third generation Kindle original e-ink Kindle. Alright, so I'm just going to go here. Come along now. long since I've been in here. I don't even know what I want to do. I want to deliver this and I want to deliver it to my Kindle. Boom. So that should download onto this device. I hope. Yeah, it's a little wheel spinning. Good deal. Good deal. There it is, right there. Okay, so according to these instructions, uh, I went on here earlier today and I actually downloaded uh, per this fine smart man, Jeff Stratton .com, Jeff Stratton. Uh, I downloaded Caliber, the ebook management utility, which is a really good free software for converting ebooks into all kinds of formats and I also downloaded and installed the DRM removal tool uh, made by what's that guy's name Prentice Alf maybe I don't know anyway and installed it so the this first part here I'm done up to right here so this is what I need to do. I'm going to be able to get this serial number from here. Oh, that's not where I want to be. Okay. So let me go open this. Let me close this. Let me go open this up. Got too much stuff going on here. I'm 
let's hope this works. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's go ahead and plug this in so it can be doing whatever it needs to do. Couldn't tell you when was the last time I plugged this thing into a computer if I ever did. I don't know. I already loaded it in there off my computer trying to do something with it. It didn't work out too well. I wonder if I can delete. Yes, let's remove it. Remove selected book. Yes, do it. Alright, and let's go back to Jeff here. Okay, Jeff. So, Jeff says in the customize window that opens. So let's go ahead and get in here. I believe that plugin is right here. Yes. Customize the plugin. We want to ink Kindle. I'm going to add my serial number. Two hackers and jerks be trying to copy my stuff. Uh, really? A 19 digit serial number. Yeah, it's just not. Let's see if we can remove the spaces. Okay, then what? Get off this page. God. Alright. Ah, oh, dummy. Look, it said right there. Apply button. Close out preferences. Make sure your Kindle is connected to your computer. Now you need to add your book. Okay, so let's close this out. And what we're going to do is click add books. Now I have my, you can see it's connected here. see if it if we can see it yes that is fantastic this is <laughs> yes we are getting somewhere it's gonna be our books gonna be in the use wow I can't believe this is happening yeah, I had no luck with this earlier today. There we go. But I didn't have my stuff hooked to it either, so. This might work. Let's see if we can convert it, right? Well, let's see what the smart man Jeff says first of all. Yeah, we that's a, this is how we're going to ensure that the DRM was removed. So, I'm going to just try to do it text. So 
says it's working on it. Yeah, it had already it had already stopped earlier today, so I think we might be in luck here. so happy that this is going to work out because what I'm doing is I'm doing this actually for my client. If you have watched any of my previous videos and you saw me earlier doing a cover for his newer book, well this one has been in the clutches of his publisher. We weren't sure that we were gonna be able to do anything with it until he was outside of contract. Well, come to find out, in their FAQ, they say that, like there's a question, well, if someone else has published my book, can I publish with you as well? And they're like, yeah, sure, Under, uh, we'll just publish it under a second edition. And I'm thinking, well, if they can do that, then so can we, right? So, he just sent me over his agreement a little while ago, and indeed, we can. Let's see if we can see, excuse me, if we can find that text, excuse me, I'm so sorry, that text version in our library. Show it. No. Here's our format, right? How can I s get? I don't know how to get to the format. What's this? See what Jeff says. <laughs> Caliber library folder on your computer. Let's see if I can locate that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we have it, folks. Let's see how horrible it is. Uh, no word pad. Yeah, notepad, you ding ding. Hey, it's not going to be too terrible. I'm definitely going to be able to work with that. Fantastic. Thank you, Caliber. Paste. There it is. This one we can throw away. And this we'll throw away. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, so we just removed the DRM from that file using Caliber. Um. I'll put a link to this article in the description, so for your convenience, once I'm done with this, so I'm just going to put it, just stick it in a notepad file for the time being, right, right, cool. Now what do I want, now what kind of magical things do I want to do? I think that's good for this one video, so...